Hey guys, it's Holly from Chic Antique and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to paint furniture white. I'm going to be using Dixie Belle's all-in-one silk mineral pink today. So if you're excited for this video, make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the piece we're gonna be working on today. It is a solid maple wood dresser. As you can see, it's had some wear and tear over the years. I suspect this was used in a child's room. On the right side here, you can see there are some football stickers. But this piece is super solid and sturdy, so we just need to give it a new look. We're going to start as we always do by removing the hardware before we clean the piece. As you saw in the before photos, there are a ton of these football stickers on the left side, so I'm just going to be removing those now. All those stickers left a sticky residue, so I'm going to be using a lemon essential oil to remove that stickiness. It has the same effect as something like Goo Gone Cleaner, but without all the chemicals. So I'm just going to be applying this essential oil in all the areas where that sticky residue is, and I'm going to rub it into the surface. Then I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes to soak that all up. And now I'm coming back with my metal scraper to remove all that sticky residue. It's super gross how much was on there. Really disgusting. <laughs> now we're gonna be cleaning the entire piece. For my cleaner today, I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner. I'm gonna be putting a couple of teaspoons of that into my bucket and mixing that with some warm water. I'm just going to go ahead and clean the piece using a microfiber rag. And this piece was so dirty, I needed to do two passes with that white lightning cleaner. And here's what the water looked like on that first pass. Super gross. After using that cleaner, I'm going to rinse it off using clean, clear water. All right, now here's the funny part. When I pulled out the drawers on this piece, I noticed the owners had done some repairs of their own that were not so good. So part of this drawer had been cracked. So they repaired it with what looked like Elmer's glue. 
and then they just duct taped the entire thing which wasn't an awful idea but it definitely wasn't cute so the duct tape was completely unnecessary so I'm just removing all of that. After removing the duct tape, there was a little bit of that stickiness left over on that drawer, so I'm going to use that essential oil again just to remove that. As you can see, this oil works really well to get any of that stickiness off. And here I'm just removing these screw covers. I do not like them, so I'm going to be removing those and filling those holes with wood filler. So here I'm just gonna mix up this Bondo all-purpose putty. I'm going to be mixing one part of the putty to a small part of cream hardener. And I'm gonna be mixing that up really well and very quickly because this does set down and harden within 30 minutes. Now here's me filling in all the scratches and dents and damage in the top. This is super sped up, but there was a ton of damage, so I wanted to show you everything that I filled in on the top. I did fill in everything on the rest of the piece, I just didn't film that part. And here I am filling in those holes on the front where those screw covers were. Now I'm going to be sanding everything down. I'm going to start with 80 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander. We are doing this for two reasons. One, to sand down that wood filler so it is flush with the surface, and then also creating as much of a smooth surface all over as we can so that the surface is smooth for painting and the paint has something to grip to. Now to further smooth everything out, I'm using 120 grit sandpaper on a sanding block. Lastly, I'm finishing with 220 grit sandpaper on that sandy block as well. After all that sanding, I need to remove dust, so I'm going to first start with a microfiber rag. And after that, I'm using a tack cloth to get any remaining dust. Now 
Now, since this piece is maple and is prone to bleed through, I'm going to be using Boss Primer on this, not only to prevent that bleed through that might occur, but also have a smooth base for my paint to go on. I'm applying this using my Zebra Chiseled Wedge Brush. I'm applying in sections and then smoothing out each section as I go along. I'm using the clear version of this primer, which is really good if you are doing any distressing, anything like that. I'm not going to be distressing today, but this is what I had on hand, so this is what I'm using. Now after letting that dry overnight, I'm going to be painting using Dixie Belle Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint in the color Salt Water. And I'm going to be mixing this up really well before I get started. And I'm going to be applying this again using my Zebra Chisel Wedge Brush. Now I'm going to start painting. I'm going to start on this left side here on the edge. I'm going to be applying in small sections and smooth out each section as I go along. This paint does have a built-in primer, but since this paint color is white, there is a higher chance of any bleed through showing. So I wanted to cover all my bases to prevent any bleed through by using that boss primer before I started with this paint. This paint also has a built-in top coat, which is really awesome because once you're done painting, you are done. You do not need to seal this with wax. You do not need to seal it with clear coat unless you need that extra durability, but this does have that built-in top coat. So once you're done painting, you're completely done, which I love. And something you want to remember about this paint is you do not want to overwork it. You want to work in small sections at a time do as little brush strokes as you can and then move on. If you don't like how a section looks, don't go back to it and touch it. That will create brush strokes. So if you don't cover something or you don't like how it looks, just come back in that second or third coat and paint over those areas. Now I'm continuing on this right side here on that edge. And here's what that first coat looks like on the right side of the dresser as well. I'm applying this in long strokes, making sure not to overbrush if I can, and smoothing out each section as I go. If you guys have any questions about this silk mineral paint, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. I've used this a couple of times now and I really love it. I hope I can use it more in the future. But if you have any questions or need any help with your piece, make sure to comment those down below so I can help you out.
After the first coat of paint, I did notice a little bit of bleed through on that first coat. I'm showing you here, it's a little bit hard to see with this lighting, especially because the paint is white. But you can see it's a little bit of yellowing, a little bit of warmth in that paint there. So I'm glad I did use that boss primer to start out, otherwise it would have been a lot worse. And here's that bottom trim piece with a little bit of brownish, orangish bleed through there. So we're going to continue painting and hoping the primer in the paint will go ahead and cover that up. So now we're going to go ahead and do a second coat of paint after I let this paint dry for two hours and we're going to be continuing that process using my zebra chiseled wedge brush. We're going to be applying it in long strokes, smoothing it out as we go and not going back to sections that we've already painted. My camera makes the coverage look a lot better than it is. Unfortunately, I did need to do four coats of paint on this to reach full coverage, which is pretty common for white paint. Every time I paint with white, I remember why I don't like it. It's because you need way more coats of paint to cover the wood or whatever is beneath it. And I didn't film those other two additional coats of paint because it's repetitive and you already know what it looks like. So now we're going to move on to the handles. I'm going to be sanding these down to bare wood. I'm starting with my orbital sander using that 80 grit sandpaper again to remove any of that varnish and the previous stain. After using my orbital sander, I'm going to be using 120 grit sandpaper to continue to smooth it out. And now I'm just finishing that off using 220 grit sandpaper as well. Here's how they look all sanded down compared to the old finish. I think it looks so much better. They have a little bit of a warm yellowy undertone, so I'm going to correct that using a whitewash. So I'm going to start by removing the dust, starting with the cloth and then the tack cloth. Now to whitewash this, I'm going to begin by brushing on a little bit of water onto these to make sure that paint goes on smoothly. And then I'm going to use that smaller brush just to apply that silk paint. And I'm applying this in a thin layer.
and then I'm going to be wiping that back right away using that lint-free cloth. So I'm wiping back the excess paint so that we can see the grain through it so it doesn't have a full opacity. I want to see that wood grain beneath it. And here's how it looks. Now I did have one drawer that was missing these drawer stoppers. So I got these stoppers off Amazon. I can leave them in the description box. So I'm just gonna show you how to put those in. I'm going to find the place where they naturally go and then I'm going to be hammering them in as far as I can get them using this hammer. And you wanna make sure it's in there really well. So check as you go to see if you can pull it out or not and continue hammering if you need to. Now just continuing on that left side, hammering that in where the previous stopper was. Now that it's all complete, I just wanna remind you what we started with. Here's how it looks now. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this makeover today. I hope you enjoyed it. This piece was a ton of work, but I'm really happy with the result. I think it turned out really beautiful and really beachy, which I love. So make sure to check out some of my other videos before you leave. I'll have my newest upload in the eye up here, as well as down below in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. ever shut up? Nope. My question is, why? I think they use Elmer's glue on this thing. <laughs> and then they use paper. Duct tape on. Nailed it. Who is listening to bagpipes? Can you hear that? That's a good joke. Just leave me alone, please.